Hi, everyone. So at this point in time, you have set up on-demand, provisioned an organization, and started a migration project. Um, normally, on-demand can give you mail, OneDrive, SharePoint, Teams, and now the newest feature relevant to what we're doing today, Active Directory. So once you click that, you'll be redirected over to us ODMAD, so in, in your URL. So it's a little different application you're moving to in the same system. Once you're here, you're going to see a page uh, where Directory Sync is on the left and Active Directory is on the right. You need, you need both components throughout this course. Um, but before you can do any Active Directory workstation migrations, you need to synchronize the users to the target platform the five users you created, Adam, Becky, et cetera, um, in the past videos and instructions. So here we're going to click directory sync and go to the directory sync interface. And, um, you know, some of you might have known this in the past as Power 365 directory sync. Same items there might be familiar to you. Others, this is new. It's totally a module now in on-demand called Directory Sync. And you have on the top left a pancake menu where a lot of your options are on the left. And we'll go through some of these as we're doing these exercises. And then on the right, there's a waffle menu and in that menu is your two applications you saw on that main page coming in to be able to flip back and forth. And we'll go to Active Directory later when it's actually time for resource processing and workstation migration. Right now, we need to synchronize all our objects, including their passwords and their SID history to the target environment. And that involves these two major components here called workflows and environments. You can't do a workflow until you have an environment. Basically, think of environments as your source environment and your target environment, which could be source cloud or source local. It could also be target cloud or target local. So you're always thinking Microsoft AAD based as well as Microsoft Active Directory based hybrid AD, sometimes referred to as hybrid AD. So we need to add our environments before we can do any kind of workflows. So the way you would read this screen right now is nothing is there. And it does refresh from time to time to give you updates about environments and their agents. And then, you know, to, to learn the building blocks, we'll give you a five minute video that you can click in the steps and uh, you can learn about all the different components. But Environments is what you add to the system, source and target, and workflows is what acts on the environment and produces a bunch of steps to do, such as synchronization of passwords, user accounts, etc. So to do any workflows, we need to create environments. So we're going to go to our pancake menu and on the left, and we're going to choose environments in the settings area below. And now we're going to add our first environment, your source environment. So this is where you'll need, you'll need your M365 admin credentials. So go ahead and hit new. And it'll launch a wizard. And remember I said you need a source cloud or a source local first. So we're going to call it local because a local is both. Since AADC is set up in the source environment and the target, we're always going to choose local. When AADC is not involved, that's when you would choose cloud. So current exercise, we're going to go local. And then at this point, it's going to bring you to a screen some of you might be familiar with, where you name your source environment. So give it a descriptive name, um, source tenant. And next, and now you give any kind of a name to the agent here. It will readjust 
to the host name of the system eventually. That's perfect. And then you download this agent onto your system in Learn On Demand. 